everybody, I want to wheeze them here as the world slowly loads. I am on the MindLogic server. This is the uh, kickoff to episode 30, I believe. I've been doing a ton of stuff off camera, and it got to the point where I was like, you know, I should probably record some of that because it's we've done a lot. <laughs> and, uh, anyway, uh, what I want to showcase, I have been chiseling my way down this direction. Uh, you can kind of see my trail of terror by way of the saplings and leaves without trees attached to them and everything and if you note we got a pretty sweet little mountain here this is sort of I guess like the abrupt change from a spruce forest with a cool waterfall to a flower forest with oak and birch and uh, as we apple time it's we can uh, where's the Sun I should have to I want to actually see what's up here uh, somewhere in this vicinity Celsius blew himself up I think it was still in the flower forest, so here is the line once again between the flower and spruce forest. Pretty cool little transition, I have to say. And I don't think we're going to be able to tell much about this. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I've been, I don't know how many hours I've put in since uh, episode 29, but, yeah, there's really not a lot to see here, is there, sadly? Uh, yeah, just a lot of spruce. <laughs> Just a whole lot of spruce. I don't have a ton of food on me is the other issue we've got here. But, yeah, is that four tall? I think it is. That's always cool. At least I think it is. So as far as I can tell, this is spruce. We'll explore it in detail at some points. Uh, also of interest would be finding sheep or cattle. Because I don't have them and we need them for <laughs> many, many things I have plans. And it's just insanely strange how difficult it's been to find any of them within this region. So this is actually a nice little cave as well. Well, I don't know if it's nice, but I mean, it looks cool. Where's the waterfall? That's what I was looking for. I guess we won't make a grand <laughs> descent from the mountain. There it is. It's way over there. So anyway, I really think this is a cool area. And just to kind of showcase this to you. Dun, 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 dun. Just sort of, you know, a nice little transitional area. I don't know that it ever does. Maybe over here is where it goes down. Uh, that's been explored. Story of my life. But there's the waterfall. Good enough start, right? Uh, but nonetheless, the reason I was doing this, number one, it'd be cool to build here, but number two, uh, a while back, I think it's when Celsi and I sunk the boat, uh, we had a deal where I was like, hey, 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 you know, who put this little pathway here you know I didn't have a pathway here it kind of went by closer than I would like to my little trap door that no one ever seems to know exists until I tell them and as I try to get back on the track here we should have just enough leaves to spawning that I can kind of map myself out here not many apples though it doesn't look like but right here I did not do this path I cut down a tr birch tree that was here it was actually a very tall birch I kind of liked it uh, a couple of oak trees were in the way uh, but this whole thing here, like, I did not put it here. Like, I wouldn't have wanted it this close to my stuff. Uh, but then it was there, and I was like, yeah, you know. And so I'm tracing it. You can see the spruce over there. We'll do a little corner trick there. Uh, but again, I had this, like, kind of masked and not really played out because of my trap door there. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I've done uh, a couple of things in here I kind of want to showcase. And we might... TWK and I were talking about doing a clip. I don't know if he's already asleep or not. A uh, couple of things I have done here. So the whole waterbed deal here, I've this is like iteration 17 probably. I had like a huge pit and a moat, and I didn't like the transitional areas. Uh, I've also kind of tweaked this. I don't know that you've seen it in a clip either. There's so much I've done, I'm kind of having a hard time keeping track of it all. But uh, I just thought that was a nice way to break up the furnace wall and give us lighting. But if you note over here, there's a little switch, right? And you think, mm, well, you know, okay. Da, 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 da. So uh, the ladder, uh, you could do a water drop. I mean, I'll be honest with you, but, you know, then you have to be able to get back out and... All right, so Crisis Averted, it actually did have game audio somehow. But anyway, I had somewhere back here is a hidden room, which there's nothing in it. But uh, in the iteration number four or five, I had like the four pumpkins and uh, this whole ring. I had like, you can't tell now, but there's a ring of pumpkins right underneath it to light up the pool. It was about 
this deep. And then there was a switch, which has since washed away, that opened up a doorway over here. But like I said, nothing was there. So anyway, if we drop down here, you think, well, what in the world? Granite path in the city. Uh, Ominix's base, and then that's just there to hold water. So the path to Ominix's base, uh, not like super complete or anything. And he actually found it, I think, because I plugged it with polished granite. Wait, wait, wait. I maybe that's farther down here. <laughs> um, like I said, it's been a while since I've recorded. This goes somewhere. I'll show you later. But maybe the thing I'm thinking of is down here. As you can see, it's pretty long, and uh, this is the type of stuff I do off camera. <laughs> so, yeah, this is where it is. Okay. So, uh, nice little secret secret path you have here, Ominix. And he left me some cool stuff. These are actually amazing boots. I don't know if he looked at these before he put them in or not, but uh, they're, they're pretty stacked, I have to say. Um... Right here, though, <clears throat> that'll go out to the granite path. I'm not going to show you that yet because we're not done. But uh, then I just trugged along that direction for a long time. Came out at the end, popped my head up, recognized where I was, backtracked a bit, uh, and then I sort of... This is where I went in towards my base. No free slots, eh? Okay, that's the story of my life. Alright, precious chicken must go. Dirt goes here. And so, yeah, now you know where we're at, right? Cool stuff. Um, another thing that is new. Not, well, actually, it is new because I did it tonight. So you've seen me expand this thing, right? And what I've done now is, like, I've just been chiseling this way. It used to stop right here was the wall of dirt. And I thought, you know, I wonder where exactly this thing is. And so I've just been chiseling it away. And, man, I need to clean my inventory out before we do any of this. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm thinking I'm going to keep doing that and just see how far we can go. We should be hitting a cliff sometime. Uh, this thing here, of course, it's one of my many, many entries. This will take you up to the surface, as you can see there. Uh, that's kind of towards where the meme team dream tried to prank me. Uh, and then, of course, right here, this will take us up. And it's just a little pathway that goes to the edge of the base, which looks out into my uh, little woodland tunnel there that we've not quite connected Speaking of that, where was the access point for that? I, I did that a long time ago off camera, too. Okay, I'm not even sure if I know where that is. Uh, there's, I don't even know how many entries. Aha, aha, <laughs> see what I do? See these little secret things I do that even I can't keep up with? Anyway, I don't think you've seen this yet, and so right here we're at ground level in line with the thing, little woodland uh, entry and exit way that I just did. I've debated extending it all the way across over here and then having like a little pipe hole, you know, like tree branch thing I could crawl out of, but that's just sort of my uh, end point and I use the vines to navigate. And again, it blends really well. I mean, you saw me go by that and I didn't even think of it and this is my base. Speaking of vines, I have these bad boys and they take us down here to this area. Uh, this was originally going to be like the watermelon area and then I just wound up sort of doing it my own way, uh, which was side by side, but if we carefully tread down this way, we can follow our magical path here, <laughs> and come up this direction, go down here, and get ready for this, I've done, we're still nowhere near done with my storage room, but we are getting closer, so, uh, this is what TWK saw, and he was like, oh, frick, that is your base, apparently he hasn't been watching my episodes, but... Uh, I told him that uh, I would give him a tour, you know, of some of the newer stuff, and, you know, well, that's the clip I was referencing earlier, but uh, the banners, I've kind of positioned them there, I've got a bunch of switches here, uh, for me, these look like hat racks or something you throw your helmet on is sort of the idea, or is it? <laughs> Check it out, you come over here to the two end walls, and I don't think I've really built anything in here yet, so this will eventually be like, just storage or whatever. Same thing here, check it out. This is going to come in here, and the way this works, this is the backside, like I've got the chests right here, uh, that's sort of like their backdrop, and uh, then if we come up this direction, you can actually sort of see I'm going to build out that way, possibly have, it's basically a catwalk here, 
And I debated putting water over the top, like our main little hallway there. I don't think I'm going to do it. Uh, I just, I don't know how how it would look better than the stone, which I think looks pretty good because it's going for the whole natural cave type thing. So right here, you know, like I could make that water or something, but I don't think I'm going to do it. So coming over here, as you might have guessed, this is just, you know, like another little room, uh, which is not finished out yet. Uh, so, you know, nothing too fancy yet. And then this one, I can totally make this much, much easier to keep track of. <laughs> But uh, for now, this is what I've done. And uh, the reason, let me kind of, this is the chests again. I've got the catwalk in place. And then these are here, A, for steps to up there, and two, it covers up the furnaces I have in the wall. Uh, I debated having it open for a little while, but I was like, no, nah, I don't think that'll be necessary. This little pathway here, dun dun dun, dun we're connected over here where we just were. So, pretty slick, but there's more. We come through this pathway, and this is not done either. I'm going to kind of like clean this up and whatnot. Check it out, though. This centers us right on top of the enchanting area. That's actually why I was out cutting the wood. At the start of the episode, I told you we had a couple of things we were doing. One, there was that path I wanted to build over there. The other thing is I needed wood so I could finish making bookcases uh, to go ahead and get some max level enchants here. So we're pretty close. I guess I just need, what, one, two, three, four, six or so? I think six-ish, something like that. And then coming over here, we'll finish this out. But what I am thinking here is that I will actually do something. I don't know if it will be water and have it flow down uh, somewhere in this, or if I like do lapis blocks, or I'm thinking the ceiling will be glass, colored glass. Um, this is the other pathway, and then this one will take us right into the room. This is just sort of temporary, this isn't gonna stay here. Although I could actually hide that too. <laughs> but, uh, let's see, do I have anything down there? No, so I filled this one in. Uh, I think I've mentioned it in the previous recordings like this. Oh, what was that? Stumble. This turns out to be completely above ravines, right? Like, everything <laughs> uh, is just ravine city and... Up there, actually. Well, trust me. Hmm. Well, I promise you, if we... I think that stone block is one... Uh, it, it's just not quite what I had envisioned whenever I built this thing. Uh, so that's why I'm sort of thinking instead of doing what I was going to do below it, we'll probably trim out above it and try to make it look cool. And then, of course, this is just the uh, entry there. So that's about that uh, in terms of this area. Uh, so lots, it, it doesn't seem like much, but I've spent a ton of time <laughs> just doing that tunneling stuff, you know, and then like connecting it and uh, all the little hidden doors and hidden access points. It actually does take quite a bit of time. I didn't do a lot down here, but I finally, like, people have had such a hard time figuring out how I, like, transition from the little room down there to that main area we were just at. So it's still tough to see, but I went ahead and made it... Stone. It used to be a combination of leaf blocks and mm, I think there were actually no dirt blocks, leaf and dirt, and people still couldn't see it. So uh, there is that bad boy right there. And if we come up this way, I just recent tonight actually is when I did this. I ran out of dirt, is why I stopped. But I thought it would look better to have the grass, and then of course I'm gonna plan on trailing it this direction. And I guess I'll go ahead and take you down here as well, because it's in this area. I can't remember if this was recorded or not. I know I, like, highlighted bits and pieces. I really haven't been down here since, so I'm not quite sure how to get there. <laughs> but this strip mine that never generated any diamonds finally started generating diamonds. And which passageway is it? I don't exactly know that I'll be able to find it, but somewhere in here I have amazing caves now. And I'm very, very excited about it. <laughs> so, one, two, three, four, torch here. It's not this way, obviously. Uh, but so, yeah, it's going to turn out to be one of these offshoots. And then we went this direction a really long way, and it just got to be awesome caving. I think up there is the pathway. 
But uh, just trust me on it. It's finally started to pay out. And we have action and adventure and all sorts of cool stuff. But uh, I th I'm what I'm wanting to do, and the only reason I'm telling you about this, is wherever that cave is, which I could not finish exploring. It's when we were getting iron for the beacon. And, of course, when I'm looking for iron for a beacon, that is ob absolutely going to be that point in time where I finally start finding diamonds out the wazoo. Um, I really need Fortune 3 as well. But it might have been off of here. And then, like I said, just a ton of... I don't even know how far I have traversed here. But uh, let's try to just make a pathway here real quick. This is a shame. I could use this granite. Um... I know what I'll do. Be gone. <laughs> Alright. So, just for now, I'm going to see if I can find, like, the passage points. It's somewhere, but what I'm telling you, I want to get back to that cave and then dig the cave to my ravine, I think would be really, really cool. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, I've not been here since, and I'm not exactly sure how to get there. <laughs> but this looks promising right here. Somewhere, somewhere in this area, I've got a cool cave. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is part of it. And then you go this direction. This is stupid because I don't have space. But uh, I want to see if I can just map it out. No, yes, right here. My gosh, we found it. This is where I was wondering. I think I killed the zombie and the slime here. I think that was in the episode. It made me wonder if this could actually... What was that? Oh, hi. I'm gonna use this sword. <laughs> I wonder... How did he hit me? Straight, well, I guess it's, it's somewhat dark over there. Um... But yeah, there's... Oh, this is the bottom of the lava ravine. <laughs> so yeah, yet another ravine. And uh, it's just, it's looking really, really... I've got so much junk in here. But nonetheless, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. And I kind of wanted to show you how you can sort of get here. <laughs> you know? Uh, so yeah, like I said, so much I have yet to explore. And it's going to be pretty awesome when we do it. Oh man, even right up there is a... Jeez. Yeah, so... I, I explored a lot of it. And there's just... It's finally the amazing cave that was untouched. And I could not be happier. So what the goal is, is basically to connect everything awesome you just saw, including the lava ravine, to my little main ravine. Also, where am I going? <laughs> so if I have this on camera, surely some of you can navigate it for me if I ever, like, get lost. So we came from down there. Let's see if we can trek this to a main area. And then we'll sort of know. I might even, like, mark it. <laughs> Would be a smart thing to do. Uh, so pretty, pretty fan, pretty fantastic little find here. So uh, let's go do this. Cave and lava. Well, I'll put it on the same line. Lava ravine up and to the. It'll be right. So, uh, not super cool, but hey, that'll sort of help me. <laughs> and the main shaft has to be somewhere, right? Yeah. So, go this way. That'll work for now, and most importantly, though, it cleared out two spots. Now, right over here is my first foray, and this is actually where I need to get the rest of my obsidian, since I've kind of covered it all up, but uh, that'll be where I get the obsidian or just throw up a portal of my own. It'll be easy as well. So, yeah, uh, this, I just wanted to have it on camera, like, where this was. I don't know if anybody, like, logs coordinates or, you know, if you're using this for your, uh, you know using the seed for your own solo stuff or something. But the whole idea is that somewhere over there, and I've explored all that stuff at the bottom, I think, 
looking for diamonds way long ago. Um, I want to bring that cave and the lava ravine with a pathway and probably a cool bridge that'll like be somewhere wherever it has a convenient point and then cross over this ravine and then come over this direction uh, to our little, you know, like the main area, the main man cave, I suppose, and have like an entry point there and then probably continue the same style bridge and just make it to where it's like easily accessible. So, oh my gosh. I also threw down a vine somewhere. I'm going to eventually make it to where I can just climb out uh, with a vine. I don't want to place a ladder. It was those right there. I decided it would be a decent spot. Of course, you can just use a waterfall, but hey, let's make it complicated. Uh, so yeah, I think that's most of what I was going to show you. I'm also, if you couldn't tell, I'm working on another project. Let's go up here. And what it is, it's very, very simple, but uh, that's why I have furnaces too, provided they're still in my inventory. And I am trying to set up a deal where if you fall off my stained glass <laughs> at the granite pathway... Oh lord, there could be a bad thing. Oh, it's night time. Okay. Did not expect that. Totally lost track of time here. Uh, but if you fall off of my granite path, you are simply able then uh, to come in and hit a button and... You know, shoot yourself up, get out of there. So, the issue here with this, sadly, since that is uh, polished andesite, I always confuse those. It does lose the grass, but I mean, over time it grows back. So, um, yeah, that's a couple of the changes here around the base. And let me know your thoughts on it. Let me know if you want to see more of it, less of it. Again, that'll go to the current tunnel that's not complete from the granite path. Uh, to the edge, it'll eventually come out, <laughs> and uh, you know what, let me go to bed, because I want to cover something else that I'll probably do off camera. I feel like they've changed this in 110, I don't remember these like strange angles of tools while you sleep, like I feel like they used to be more kind of down to your side instead of straight up in the air. Anytime I stumble with a door, there's usually something bad, <laughs> you know. Oh, the beacon, man. I was like, who copied me and built something ugly into the sky? Ah, uh, but the, what I want to show you over here is right here. I'm going to come in and I'm probably going to cover in stained glass the whole water area. Although I love being able to fill a bucket, but I suppose it's not a huge deal because we can just do it at the pools. But, uh, like right here, this grass block is here and that grass block is there because... If you ever fall off of this, you know, you're not going to take much damage, if any at all. But then you're like, no, oh, I can't get out. So the plan is to discreetly kind of put a slime block there that'll sort of blend with the glass. You know, people really shouldn't be looking for it. And then that'll launch us up. So uh, place a block in the chest you prefer. This side was uh, with the water flow. And this side is without the water flow. No votes there. We only have one vote, I believe. <laughs> and I believe that is Omnix who voted, so more leather boots, but uh, other thing I'll show you, because I'm probably going to start work on it, oh man, that speed boost kicks in, you don't expect it, I am going to be start, a monster, guess not. Uh, I'm probably going to start work on my little build in the city, and then I'm wanting to find out if anybody is planning on building anything over here, I was sort of clearing the trees out a while back because if they're not I have some ideas <laughs> I think it'd be pretty cool but so uh, that sort of brings you up to speed I suppose on what I've been doing and I've got one free slot so I'm gonna knock down some more trees I think get some food while I'm at it how's that not a one hit kill uh, anyway yeah so this is sort of just transitioning back, and like I said, I'll have a lot going on. I'm just sort of going to do some of the stuff off camera and then kind of showcase it. So uh, we'll see what happens, but if TWK gets on later, I'll do a little clip with him or something. And uh, I think he is going to work on a path. I've never actually seen his base ever, and I think he's going to build a path from his base to the city. So uh, that's it. I'll catch you back here. I don't know if this will be a full episode, the end of an episode, or what, but uh, I do have some plans here. kind of wanted to brief you on some changes and updates before I forget them or before you've seen them like 70 times in other people's videos or something. So somewhere in this forest I have found one cow. 
And the reason I've not, like, brought him back is there was literally one. I cannot find a second. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, I'm gonna just kinda run around here, see if I can find some cattle or sheep nearby. And I suppose I will see you later. So, thanks for watching, and, uh, let me know your thoughts on everything. I'll catch you guys back here for more from the MindLogic server. I knew there was something I forgot, so this is that little path that I did not make uh, that we're sort of going to utilize now and take it somewhere, because why not? Uh, but using this path that I did make, the connection point that Omenex picked... Boat is still there. That's crazy. <laughs> I keep thinking, like, some the next update or something might change it, but the bridge is great. I mean, it works out perfectly, but what I'm thinking of doing is uh, relocating it, uh, sort of, you know, I don't know, it's bittersweet because it's cool to me to like come in and you're right at the c entry point to the Cave of Wisdom, but at the same time you can't like ride a boat and park it, I guess you kind of could, but I've got some plans for waterways I'm sort of wanting <laughs> to try out, and uh, so I might like relocate the bridge or have it arch over, you know, somewhere in that direction, something like that. There's a pretty cool point in his pathway, I think, where there's a a tunnel like a land tunnel uh, right here yeah I was wondering actually you know I could build that across and have it connect here and then straight up this way as well and that would open up the entire river uh, I don't think he'd mind there's that waterfall but so uh, that would actually work quite well I think for what we're trying to do here I don't know if I've ever been up here uh, break it. Okay, so yeah, nothing, nothing super fancy. Lots, I think all these chickens are artificially placed. Uh, one of Celsius' friends, I don't know which one, just goes around and throws eggs most of the time. But, uh, anyway, yeah, so the bridge may move, it may change, we may have some new ones, I don't know. But uh, that's sort of, again, the uh, finality there of the updates. So uh, stay tuned, I'll catch you back for more from Mind Logics.